Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, how do I write and solve equations given different angle relationships? So let's talk about some of those angle relationships. Complementary angles are angles that have a sum of 90 degrees. So they form a right angle. To write and solve equations in complementary angles, we will add the angles together and then set that expression equal to 90. So that is what's happening on one through three. So let's go ahead and look at those. It says angles A and B are complementary, which means they add to 90. If angle A is 16, what is the measure of angle B? So that means angle A plus angle B is equal to 90 degrees. They told us angle A is 16. We don't know what angle B is, so I'll leave that as X the unknown, and it equals 90. So now I just need to solve this one step equation for x. So I'm going to subtract 16. And that will tell me what x, the unknown angle is. So that means that that missing unknown angle is 74 degrees. Okay, number two says angle C and D are complementary. So that means they add to 90 degrees. If angle A is 3x and angle B is 6x, what is the value of x? Oh, that's supposed to say angle C and angle D. That was a typo. So if I add angle C and angle D together, they're going to equal 90 degrees. Angle C is 3x and angle D is 6x. So I'll add them together and set them equal to 90. I need to simplify this expression, combine those angles, and 3x plus 6x is 9x, and it equals 90. And then I would divide by 9. So x equals 10. So the value of x would be 10. Okay, then on number 3, it says find the value of x. They don't tell me that they're complementary, but I can see from this diagram that they combine to create that right 90 degree angle. So 2x plus 50 would equal 90. And now I just need to solve this equation. I'm going to remove that plus 50 constant by subtracting 50 from both sides. And I bring down the 2x and 90 minus 50 is 40. And then I'll divide by 2 and I get that x equals 20. So there's the value of x. So that is complementary angles. We add the angles and set them equal to 90. Let's talk about supplementary angles. So supplementary angles add up to 180 like a line. A line is 180 degrees. So to write and solve equations involving supplementary angles, we will add, I'm not sure why it says subtract. We will add the angles together and set the expression equal to 180 degrees. So let's look at number four. It says angles E and F are supplementary angles. If angle E is 76 degrees, what is the measure of angle F? So supplementary means they add to 180. So E plus F, angles E plus F, they're supplementary, so they'll add to 180 degrees. Angle E, they tell us, is 76 degrees. Angle F, we don't know what it is, so I'll put that as X, and it equals 180. So now I just need to subtract 76 to figure out what the other angle is to make them supplementary. So that means that that missing angle, angle F, would be 104 degrees. Okay, number five says angles G and H are supplementary, so they add to 180. If angle G is 5X and angle H is 12X plus 10, what is the value of X? So G and H are supplementary, so that means that angle G plus angle H is equal to 180. Angle G is 5X, and then I'll add that to angle H, which is 12X plus 10 and it equals 180 degrees. So I need to simplify these. I need to add these angles together and I'm gonna combine it like terms. 5x plus 12x is 17x and then plus 10 equals 180. 
and now I need to solve for x by removing that constant of plus 10. So I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. And I bring down the 17x and then 180 minus 10 is 170. And then we'll divide by 17 and that means that x is equal to 10. Okay, number six says find the value of x. So they did not tell us that these angles are supplementary, but I can visually see that since they form a line together and a line is equal to 180 degrees. So I need to add those together and set them equal to 180. So I'm gonna add 4x and 20 and 6x and 10 and set it equal to 180. So before I can solve, I need to simplify this. I need to add together from those angles what I can. So 4x plus 6x will be 10x. And then 20 plus 10 is 30. And it equals 180. So now I can solve this two-step equation by removing that plus 30 constant. I'm going to subtract 30 and I get 10x equals 180 minus 30 is 150. And then we'll divide by 10, so that means that x equals 15. All right, so we've talked about complementary angles, we've talked about supplementary angles, now let's talk about the interior angles of a triangle. So remember the interior angles of a triangle also have a sum of 180 degrees. So to write and solve equations involving the interior angles of triangles, we will add the three angles together and set them equal to 180. So let's look at number seven. It says triangle ABC has the measures shown below. What is the value of X? So here are the three angles of our triangle, A, B, and C. We need to add them together and set them equal to 180. So angle A is X, angle B is 2X, and angle C is 3X. So I'm adding those angles together and setting them equal to 180 since the three angles of a triangle equal 180. And now I just need to combine all of these, add them all together. X plus 2X is 3X and 3X plus 3X is 6X. So 6X equals 180 and then I'll divide by 6 and I get that X equals 30. Okay, number eight, it says in a right triangle, the two measures of the non-right angles are 3x and 2x minus 10. What is the value of x? So I have a triangle, a right triangle, and I know that the three angles are always going to add up to 180. One of the angles is 90 since it's talking about a right triangle. And then it says the two other angle measures are 3x, and 2x minus 10. So now I need to add these together, combine like terms here before I can solve the equation. So let's start with the x's, 3x plus 2x, that would create 5x, and then 90 minus 10 is 80. So 5x plus 80 will equal 180, and now I can solve this two-step equation. I would subtract 80 from both sides, remove that constant, and I'm left with 5x equals 100, and then I'm going to divide by 5, and 100 divided by 5 is 20. Okay, number nine says, what is the value of X in the triangle below? I can see the three angles and I know that those three angles combined will equal 180. So that's how I'm gonna set up my equation. 40 plus 50 plus three X equals 180. And now before I can solve, I need to simplify this. 40 plus 50 or like terms, that creates 90. So 90 plus three X equals 180. And then I need to remove this constant now of positive 90 by subtracting 90 from both sides. I'm left with 3x and then 180 minus 90 is 90 and then we'll divide by 3 
and we get that x equals 30.